It is a great morning. It stormed last night. Thunder, lightning, wind, rain, all that good stuff. Wash off the car for me. I needed to get out and wash the car today. I also need to go get a workout in, hit the heavy bag, do a little cardio testing. Right now, I'm on my way up to the 5050 podcast to do part two. Wes is supposed to be in the house today. Sean will be there. Marcus will be there. It'll be a good time. And after that, I'll fill you guys in on what's happening in the second half of the day. So let's go. <laughs> Make sure you guys tune in to the 5050 podcast. It's always a good time talking with Sean. Marcus on the show. We cut up. Uh, for a few hours, it's probably a three, four hour podcast, but good conversation, good people. Like I said, it's always a good time. I headed over to the gym right now to get a lift, and I want to talk just about um, wants and needs. You know, people that are close to you understand your needs. They also understand your wants, if that's made clear to them. And you got a question sometimes when people near you are not supporting you with the, with the needs that you have. Take fitness, for example. People that are close to you know you have a fitness goal, but some of the things they do are not conducive in supporting you and achieving that goal. They're taking you away from the goal. Maybe they're taking you out to eat bad places, bringing you bad foods, or not supporting you in the time that you need to take in the gym or walking or anything like that. And that doesn't just have to be fitness. That can be in other areas of your life. So the people that are close to you are not acting in ways where they support what you're doing. You have to question why are you letting them in that close to begin with. But anyway, something to think about. I'm headed to get a back workout. You want to join me? It's time we put in a little bit of work. So dues paid on the back workout on to the next. On the back workouts that I've been doing, I've been uh, going semi-heavy, semi to failure on my sets, but I've been, been doing a warm-up set, heavy set, then a heavier set. And when I say heavy, I don't mean like extreme weight. I just mean to put a load on there and, and I'm going to failure, what I call, like, well, what I said, semi-failure. But getting back in the gym, what have you been doing? Are you a gym rat? Are you just a car rat? Or are you a clothing rat? What kind of rat are you? <laughs> so it rained like crazy the last couple of mornings. And what did that do? Made the grass shoot up. The grass was already thick at my house. And I've already been in the market for a weed eater, so I'm headed up to take a look at some. Specifically, I've been looking for electric weed eaters, so I'm gonna see what they have. Uh, another thing is like, while back in some of my other videos, I talked about doing some spraying for bugs around the exterior of the house, doing that stuff myself. After these rains in my area, you get just overwhelmed with wolf spiders coming out of the woodwork. And they're all pretty big spiders, so I had to go out there and respray again, and it's just becoming a, a nuisance of a jungle. <laughs> so I needed to take some action on getting the weed eater and tidying up a little bit around the house. So we'll see what kind of weed eaters they got. Power, gas, electrics, mowers. Let's take a look at another out. 
got a lot to choose from, so we're gonna look through these. Not looking for gas powers. Some electrics within the budget. So you can see which brand I decided to go with. And I'm gonna save this for another video and do a little unboxing because it's been a while since I've done an unboxing video. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ultimate Expression 2023.